Okay, in this video I'd like to talk about stacking wide-field astrophotography images um, with you know, terrestrial objects in the foreground. Um, so this is a combination where I will be using uh, two apps to do the stacking and then compositing uh, in Photoshop. Um, so I've exported these images already uh, and I've imported them into Starry Landscape Stacker for the Mac. Uh, the first thing that this application does is detect the stars um, and you can see these as red spots. Uh, this is a composite image, um, you can see the individual ones if you wish, um, but this, this is fine. So if we click find sky, um, it, it basically detects the sky. We'll need to fill in the areas that it's missed um, just with a, a quick mask. Um, and so, so everything that isn't blue is considered to be uh, foreground. Um, so with this done, uh, just align and save, um, and we should be able to see a preview of the final image in just a second. Okay, here we go. So you will notice that uh, the foreground is obviously very sharp, um, but towards the, the edges, uh, particularly the top right hand corner, we have a lot of kind of blurry stars where Starry Landscape Stacker has not done an amazing job of stacking. The same is true on, on the left hand side as well. Um, so if we save this image, uh, the default name is, is fine. Um, the next step is to perform the same stack and this time I'm going to use Registar, uh, which is a Windows only app. Uh, and if we select uh, the images um, that we, uh, the, the same images essentially that we used. Uh, Registar will load these uh, and the first thing that we will do is click register and we're going to register all of the images. The default settings uh, are fine. Um, so what this does essentially is it, it, it registers and, and aligns the images with respect to one source. It doesn't matter what the source is in this case. Anything that is showing up in monochrome, uh, it's been able to align correctly. Uh, oh, okay, this error is... Oh, okay, that's because it's included the composite image. Uh, but anything with red or blue has not been aligned correctly, but anything in monochrome has. So, <clears throat> the final step um, in Registar is to combine these images into... Uh, a single image. Um, so we'll obviously go um, and select all of the images. The default weight is, is, is correct and we'll use average, sorry, median slash mean. Um, the, the documentation for Registar says that's the, uh, the, the best option for the smoothest results. Um, and if we perform this, uh, yeah that's not a huge file size, that's fine. Uh, and this now has stacked the images and you'll notice that the stars were in Starry Landscape Stacker, they were quite blurry and now very sharp. But the foreground, you can see this banding where the images have kind of been rotated. Um, so that's, that's kind of a problem. So between these two images, we have, you know, a good sky and a good foreground. So if we save this uh, image, um, uh, the default location is fine. Uh, and then finally, we'll import the two stacked images uh, as layers into Photoshop. Um, so we'll just basically select these, uh, these two. Uh, and what we will do is we will align layers. We can do this either at import or later on, but we need them to be aligned, so let's do it now. Um, okay. So these two images are loaded and at the, the foreground we have the, uh, the Registar image uh, with its banding and good corners. And then behind uh, we have the Starry Landscape Stacker and notice that they are aligned you know, pretty well. Um, in fact, they're aligned perfectly well. It's just not possible to, to align you know, blurry, uh, blurry objects in this way. So the next step here is to create a layer mask um, and we will then use a black brush. Uh, and if we zoom in, you know, to 100%, uh, we'll get a clear idea of what's going on. And essentially, using uh, the black brush, we just mask out these areas where we have the banding, uh, and that will just allow 
the star landscape stacker stacked image to show through. Um, and because we've aligned these images, um, we, we get this nice sharp foreground. And you'll notice also that the, the, the stars are still aligned at this stage. Uh, Starry Landscape Stacker has done a fine job um, you know, around the, uh, you know, the border between the foreground and the, the sky. Um, so this is a very smooth, uh, seamless um, composite. Okay, so with the, uh, the border done, we then need you know, a larger brush. Uh, and I'm just doing this quickly, but we then just fill in the remainder of the, uh, the foreground. Um, and, you know, at this point, we, we kind of have, you know, very close to our final image. Um, really, the next step is going to be to crop the image. Um, so you will notice that the, the Starry Landscape Stacker really defines our, our, our boundary. Um, so to crop this, just command uh, command click on the Starry Landscape Stacker image, which will select uh, that image, uh, and the marching ants show up, um, and just image crop. Okay, uh, at this stage, this is essentially our final image. Um, we've got the sharp foreground seamlessly blended into the, um, the stacked background.